Hey everyone, I'm Todor from Mobile Trans, a professional data solution provider. So let me ask you, how many times did you switch phones and you lost all your conversations from WhatsApp? Well, today I'm gonna show you three different ways on how to back up your data with the help of our program, Google Drive and an SD card. And even if you don't have an SD card, I'm still gonna show you a trick. So let's jump straight into it. So the first method is going to be a backup to Google Drive. I'm going to show you here the device which has WhatsApp already and then a device which doesn't have WhatsApp. So I want to transfer my data from this device to this device. So what I have to do is come here into the main menu, settings, chats, chat backup and then you see here the backup button if you're gonna use the backup button directly then you're gonna do a backup to your device and not to google drive so to backup to google drive you need to select firstly your account i'm gonna select my account and then you have to come here as well and press the button only when i tap backup and then now when i'm gonna press the backup button then it will make a backup to my Google Drive account. You see it's uploading 118 megabytes. So this includes pictures and videos. To include your videos as well, you have to check this box at the bottom, which include your videos. If you don't want to have your videos, then turn this feature off. Now the backup is done, you see here Google Drive 11.55 and we have right now 11.56. So the backup is done on this device. Now what we need to do is remove the SIM card and put the SIM card into this device. So we can activate WhatsApp on this device and then we're gonna go into the backup. The SIM was accepted, let's put in the password, enter yes. Let's agree and continue. You need to introduce your phone number, press next. Make sure that your phone number is correct, press OK. And right now you should receive a SMS code with activation for this device. Let's introduce the last digits, 267, 267, verifying, continue, allow, allow. And right now you see here backup found six minutes ago, 118 megabytes. Take in mind that you need to have the same email account. Now let's press restore and it's restoring all the data from this device. The backup is done. Press next, enter your name, order, next. And here are all my conversations. We're gonna do it with our program. Just install mobile trans. Once you open it, you have this start page and connect USB cables to your devices. I'm gonna connect to both. Here, file transfer. So now you're gonna need to do some steps on your phone. Let's go into WhatsApp transfer. Again, transfer WhatsApp messages. And right now it's trying to connect to my phones. In the Galaxy Note 10, I had already did the permissions, but in the second device, I didn't do the permissions yet. And you see here, it gives you a pop-up uh, showing you the steps which you need to enable on the phone. So let's go into the settings about phone and we need to press a few times on MUI version so we can enable developer options. You are now a developer. On another device like a Galaxy Note 10 you come in about software information and then you press on the build number a few times you see here it says developer mode has already been turned on developer options and we need to turn on usb debugging okay and install via usb so now that that's done let's press your next and you see it says connected right now now since we are connected uh, we want to transfer the data from the galaxy note 10 to this secondary device Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite. You see here it's gonna copy messages, group SMS, everything from your WhatsApp. Let's press the start button. The existing WhatsApp chat history on the destination device will be overwritten. 
let's press yes and it will take some time here it says uh, make sure to have a uh, google backup drive off let's go into settings again chats chat backup you see backup to google drive never let's do a backup internally backup now it's done let's press next now and right now it's doing the backup to the secondary device And the backup is ready. I'm gonna show you how to use an SD card to transfer your data between phones. Well, in this case, the Galaxy Note 10 right here doesn't have a slot for the SD card, while this phone has a slot for SD card. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some adapters. This adapter is USB to USB Type-C and this adapter is a USB to SD cards. So let's plug them in. I'm gonna plug in the SD card. Now let's plug in in the phone. Now you see the LED is blinking. So right now, let's go again into WhatsApp. Let's go into settings, chats, chat backup. And now come into backup to Google Drive and select never so you're gonna hit the backup button now and you're gonna do a backup internally on the phone the backup is done you see 1131 1131 local and right now let's go into my files so you need a file manager let's go into internal storage scroll down until you see whatsapp whatsapp is right here then select the whole folder well actually let me show you if you go into whatsapp then you see here backups, but let's just select the whole folder, copy the folder, let's go back to our SD card, you see here USB storage one, it has some folders here already, we can actually delete them all, delete, so you see the SD card is empty, and now select copy here. Now the WhatsApp folder is getting copied to the SD card, it's done, once it's done, we can remove all the adapters and remove the SD card. Now again we need to remove the SIM card. You see the SD card here has a slot. On the Note 10 it doesn't have any slot to go in. Now let's plug in into the phone. I'm gonna put my pin. Yes. Now if you go into WhatsApp again, WhatsApp is again clean. Uh, we need to set up our account again. Agree and continue. I'm gonna introduce my number. Be sure it's your phone number press OK and now let's wait for the code so we got the code let's press continue allow allow and now it should search for a backup from the SD card you see backup found let's press restore button and it's gonna restore the backup from the SD card let's press next enter your name and apply and there you go all the messages are there so these were the steps guys you can choose which one is the best for you. So with that said, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did. Comment down below if you had any questions and I'll catch you on the next one.